uh, PGM9387 coming to you from uh, Spanaway, Washington here in Pacific Northwest. These are the uh, Concord grapes that I've had growing in my yard since uh, when I first moved here it was growing here. Basically I just uh, kind of put a pile of logs and some wood and piled, it, piled the wood up and then it let it grow over, over the wood. And they're, they're really ripe right now. We've had a lot of dry weather, so it hasn't, the grapes haven't got mold on them yet. But as soon as it rains, if I don't pick them, they'll, you can see the quality of the grapes here with some bigger clusters. Pretty good, actually. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Oh, sweet. I was going to show you what I'm going to do with the, um, the 245 watt monocrystalline uh, sun module panels. What I have planned to mount them and then hook them up to a uh, charge regulator. Here's the design I have for the roof. And what it'll do is the panels will mount on an L bracket, L bracket to make a Z bracket. And then I'll use the male, male, female, female. MC4 connector combiner to um, wire the panels in parallel. And I'll be using uh, Molex uh, house wire to wire it into the charge regulator. So it's a solid um, core copper wire. See, I'm getting some apples. I've eaten a lot of apples. I eat a lot of grapes. What I plan to do with this is instead of using this material like this, I'm using it as an A frame. What, I, what I'd like to do is unbolt this part up here and put a, um, cut this, cut it and put a piece of mounting hardware here and here and then mount this, these corners, this corner and that corner to its, to where it's laying up against the building and it's parallel with the other rack. Then I can reuse this material and, you, and I wouldn't need this or this. I could use this material, cut it up and use it for something else. So you can, uh, here's one of the Z, here's one of the brackets I've assembled already. Well, you can see it's, oh, sorry about the light. As you can see it's, um, this is the way the roof, so the, the this little outbuilding right here, I'm going to use this roof on this building and mount these brackets. So I can mount them like that or I can put them like that. And here's the, uh, here's the connector for the MC4. It's got a, a male, male, female, female combiner, um, MC4 style. I'll put a link where I got that. And these, these brackets, I got these at the hardware store. They were like three bucks for a, for a pair of them. So I just bought, you know, four pairs of them. Or eight, actually, I'm sorry. And I'm going to mount two of them, make a Z, so that I can mount it on the roof with this. This will be laying flat on the composition roof. And I'll have to move the panels that are up there. Here's the, uh, the regulator that I bought. It's a um, blue sky. It was this next step down from the Morningstar MPPT, a 45 watt max. Uh, that was a little more money for that one. And then there was another one that I was looking at getting Rogue controllers. I was looking into getting one of those, because it, but it wasn't quite rated. And it was a little bit underrated for these two big panels. Because I can't run these two 24 volt panels into the existing Xantrix. I have to, I have to use this. It, unless I, you know, otherwise I have to change my batteries around and, and I already have it set up for a 12 volt, um, with a 12 volt inverter. And so I didn't want to reset my battery configuration to be 24 volt. And we'll see how this works. And here's the uh, here's the hardware that I'm going to be using to mount the solar panels onto the roof with. Pretty inexpensive. They're just you know three three bucks at the hardware store. And these came with the uh, charge regulator. They're ferrite core, and you have to wind the um, battery in battery the battery connections to there. I think it has something to do with you if you want the optional equipment for the uh, battery temperature sensor. I'll have to read. It wasn't very clear about why you need these. 
because they do EMI, you know, if you have, if you're concerned about EMI interference, static interference from another electric, from this creating from this to interfere with something else and you want to use this for um, a source of uh, protection from a st um, stranded or from um, transient uh, electromagnetic interference. And here's the, uh, I'm going to have a switch to the battery on off. This is a 30 amp 12, 12 got this at the auto parts store. It's rated for 30 amps. There's two of them. So I'll have one going from, this will go to the solar panels to the charge regulator and I'll be able to turn that on off from there and this will be going to the battery bank so I'll be able to turn the battery bank on and off from there. And I got a lot of spare wire. My, my neighbor was throwing away a lot of old power cords, a lot of, you know, extension cords that were broken or they're, they're damaged and, you know, cutting the ends off those and using them, trying to, you know, I made a little mini a mini power cord here that I use on my um, that that this is connected to. So everything is everything I have plugged in is it runs it runs through my uh, kilowatt meter. And then this this is the cable that I I cannibalized and made it into a really short um, power cord that I have plugged into my inverter. I'm going to mount it right right next to my um, Xantrix C40. Um, and that's uh, Edmund Becquerel. Um, he was he discovered the uh, photoelectric effect, or he was a primary um, scientist that would, did research that um, for um, investigation of the uh, uh, effect of, of of light on the materials to produce electricity. I'll leave a Wikipedia article for on him. Anyhow, I'm just that's what I'm up to. You know, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you think it's I'm doing something really stupid or I'm making a lot of mistakes and I'm not doing it properly, I'm not following any C code guidelines, or I'm I'm going to start a, a, a create a hazard. You know, make it to where it's going to be you know sparking and wires melting and things catching on fire, or explosions. If you think it's dangerous in any way, let me know. For for all I know what I know about solar electricity it is very uh, it's very benign there's no radiation there's no um, co2 gas emissions there's no carbon monoxide emissions there's no um, it's not taking water away from agricultural use it's not um, damming up a river it's not um, causing any kind of um, debris that has to be taken and buried or put in a holding pond or a landfill so it's very solar electricity is the way of the future. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to comment. If you have used one of these before, let me know if there's anything I need to know. Thank you.